Hello, my wonderful snarklings and trolls. Uh, happy almost Mother's Day. Mother's Day is going to be tomorrow. So happy Mother's Day to all those mothers or kids who have animals that portray themselves to be mothers to their animals or aunts, grandmas, you know. Happy Mother's Day. Um, so uh, I have some ideas and I have some a little bit of a haul thing I wanted to do. Um, kind of like a DIY, but not really. Um, a mixture of it. So, um, let's go with it. I um, went to two stores today, and, um, I went to the dollar store, and I went to one of my mom's, and including my favorite store, too. Um, because it's both of our favorite stores. I went with my mom to get the presents. She doesn't know what I got her. She waited in the car while I got the presents. But, um, so she doesn't know what I got her, so she doesn't know how much I spent or anything like that, which is okay, but perfectly fine, because you want it to be a really good surprise. Um, what you need to do, uh, stuff you could do for your mom, is, like, if you have a parent, like, other than your mom, um, a dad, or maybe your aunt or grandma, just a guardian, or if you're old enough you got on yourself, you can, um, go and get them presents, but if you can't, uh, you can find really cool ways to make your mom a present without having to go and spend so much money. Um, I recommend going to the dollar store. And a lot of people look at me kind of like, like really a dollar store, you know, for your mom's present. Um, you don't have to buy your mom's present at the dollar store, but you can get really cool bags. I got this bag there for my mom because whenever you go to Target, they don't have cool designs on the bags like this. And they're just more like primary colors that are blue or pink that don't have any designs on them. And you have to pay like four bucks for one, you know, bag. And this is a just as good bag. And, you know, I paid a dollar for this. So, yeah. Um... I also got tissue paper too, uh, two bags of tissue paper, I got like, this like, I was already wrapping, so, this like, tissue paper to the rose kind, and you know, it came with white, and then I got some like, golden kind too, so I got, I got those, um, and you could just as well wrap a present with tissue paper, you might take two pieces of tissue paper, so it can cover up what it says and stuff, if you have something that has a saying on it, but it's just perfectly fine as well. Um, other things you could do is get a brown paper bag as well and cut the side of it. And uh, actually, hold on a minute. As you may look at the wall. Wait, there we go. Okay, see, a uh, brown paper bag. This will do perfectly fine. And what you want to do is just open the bottom, unfold the bottom. I'm not going to do it right now, but you want to recycle unfold the bottom and then you rip off inside of the um handles and then you once this is open and you take off that you can cut the um side just one side though um the side of this right here this crease and uh it'll be like a straight piece of paper like this it'll be long and big to where you're able to wrap but it won't be yeah so it'll be like that and you know you can wrap it and I, I did I wrapped one of my mom's books that I got for her and a piece of paper and I crumbled it up it was it was like this but it was um less uh, uh sturdier like cardboard uh paper paper bag um and uh so I did that and I wrapped it and I crumbled it up and I uh, got a feather I had, and I put some glitter on it, and then I also got some ribbon, and I tied it with it, and her book's in here. So you can do a lot with that. You can also color on this for your mom. You can put glitter. You can put um, so many things on it. You could draw something on there. Um, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people uh, that are really good artists draw on here, and then they watch their friend rip their artwork apart when they're opening the present. It's a good idea, but not highly recommended if you put like six hours of drawing onto a piece of paper that probably will end up getting ripped. So, um, you could do so many stuff. You could write a poem on here, Mother's Day poem, or, um, just a nice saying on here. Um, so that's one item I did. Um, another thing too, like if you wanted to get a candle, I have a candle. This is, this is a candle. 
see the candle? And it's got like that little pendant thing right there. Um, you want to you get the what is it called? Tissue paper, and you kind of like swirl it in the air, and it and it makes this little flower kind of thing. And uh, you put it when you do that, kind of helps it. There's like a little circle in the middle of crumbles right there. And um, all you do is you put the candle right in the middle of that. And when you do that, you put the candle in the middle. I'll show you. You put the candle in the middle of this. And you just hold it up. And then you wrap a piece of ribbon around it. And as you can see, I got two different types of tissue paper. One that was smaller than the other. This one was bigger. And I wrapped a piece of ribbon around it just to make it really pretty. And it's really nice. And it saves a lot of room, and it's rough. So, yeah. Um, and, and then I had another book, too. And all I did is I got, you know, tissue paper, and I wrapped it uh, just, you know, like a normal way you would wrap with wrapping paper. You can also get wrapping paper, too, that you have um, from Christmas or from a birthday party or get recycled, you know, stuff that you have in your house that you know, is laying around like something like this. Um, just make sure it doesn't have like a name marked on here. If it does, just rip that off. Um, you can get old wrapping paper and stuff. So you can even, uh, if your mom's into comics or stuff, you can even get the Sunday comics from the newspaper and wrap stuff in that. I know um, that's what my parents used to do when they were kids their parents used to do and so it's just a really good idea you know you could you know just this is a bar of soap and you know wrap it in like that it's just just let your imagination go far um so those are just some ideas you could do if you cannot go anywhere and buy anything for your parent your mom or your grandma or your aunt or anyone that feels like a mom to you um if you can't do that and you have a garden and you're uh, mom, your aunt or grandma likes flowers or herbs, go outside and uh, shake off uh, if there are any bugs, which there probably will be, but not too many. Shake off, you know, the flower and stuff and get a bundle of flowers, get a bundle of herbs and wrap the herbs if they are herbs. If they're flowers and you have a vase at home, put them in the vase. You can home make made a card um, with uh, computer paper and draw on it and stuff. You do so much stuff, and I'm not even naming all the stuff you can do. Those are just some ideas. Um, other than that, that's that's pretty much you could do something. If you're into, like, art and stuff, you can draw or you could sew. You can knit your mom a scarf if you know how to do that. Um, you can take your out, mom out to the movies if you have cash on you. I know a lot of teens, these, uh, a lot of teens, um, probably don't have that much, have as much money. There are some. I'm not saying teens are poor or anything. It's just the fact that, you know, we're teens. We don't really have a job yet. So when you get a job, you can do more stuff with your money. But, you know, um, some of the stuff came from the dollar store and some of it didn't. And it, it was just some stuff that sh I know she'll like. Uh, I ha I'll have a photo on Instagram of all the things I got. And if you guys want to know where I got them, I'll put that in the link on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Jade Little Crow, so if you want to go follow me on that, you can. And if you need any more ideas for Mother's Day, because that is tomorrow, it's going to be a deadline. So if you need any more of that, um, I can give you some more ideas. So uh, I hope you liked the video, my wonderful trolls and snarklings, and I'll be seeing you guys later.